Hi guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and today I'm going to talk to you about Facebook personal pages versus uh, fan pages or like pages. And those are pages where people simply um, like your page but you don't actually have friends per se. It's not really like a two-way street. They like your page um, but you don't, you're not their friend um, if that makes sense. So um, one thing to know about personal pages is that you can only have up to 5,000 friends on a personal page, which if you're running a business, eventually you will max out. I really do not recommend that you uh, move to that like page until you have like, you know, getting close to that max out or at least halfway there, 2,500, 3,000 friends on your Facebook page, on your personal page. Because on your personal page, you can also have people who follow you. So they're not your friends, but they can follow anything that you post publicly. So if you post something to friends only on your personal page, they won't see it. But if you post it publicly, they will be able to see it. So you want to see at around that 2,500, 3,000 friend mark if you're ready to start that Facebook like page. And the reason I say that a lot of people are like, well, I'm running a business. Why wouldn't I want a business page? I personally believe that I started mine too early, but um, it kind of got knee deep and it wasn't really something I was interested in shutting down and so I continue with it. But I don't create a ton of unique content for it. I do do um, some unique posts on there, especially business posts and videos like this actually that I don't do on my personal page. But I don't, you know, take unique pictures and I do a lot of cross posting between my personal page and my business page. Um, now would probably be a time that I would start my business page because I'm knee deep into my business. But I started it at the beginning um, because I felt like I should. Like I'm telling you guys, you know, people feel like they should because they have a business. So the reason I'm telling you not to start it um, right away is because it's overwhelming. Facebook does not show a lot of your posts on your um, business or like page to people that like your page because they want you to pay. They assume that if you're having, if you have a business page or a like page that you have a business, which is probably a good assumption. And they want you to pay in order to get that content in people's news feeds. So a lot of times, unless someone goes to your page specifically, they won't see your content. Um, and you can run Facebook ads, you can, for specific posts, you can run Facebook ads for the page. There's all sorts of different things that you can do, but it gets really complicated. So a lot of people, um, you know, have a small business because they just want to make a little bit of money and they want to help some people and they want to grow a little bit personally, but they don't want to spend all their time you know, getting to know how to run Facebook ads and how to target people and what the ideal budget is because it's really time consuming and your team needs something that's really duplicatable. So I'm advising my team unless they're really knee deep and they have a lot of extra time and a lot of extra money um, is to not put that into a Facebook fan page is to, or, you know, you can start one, but don't get frustrated if you feel like no one is seeing it. Um, and it's really important to get your engagement up on your personal page to understand what people want to see so that once you do put the time into your like page, it's a little bit easier to get your engagement up. But you're definitely going to get more engagement on your personal page. So if you're, if you're struggling there, the like page is not the way to go. So I just want to share that today because that was probably one of my earlier mistakes. I put a lot of time into it and really didn't get a lot of traction. So I don't want you to make the same mistake basically. So if you're struggling with your personal page, I would um, you know, do some more research on the Facebook algorithm. I've done a couple great videos on how to sort of beat the algorithm so that people do see your posts even if they are business related. Um, th that is so, so, so important for you to do that um, and really work on your personal page first before you dive into that like page or that business page. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions um, or you need to contact me or you want to learn more about how to beat that Facebook algorithm, check out JillianKaplan.com. Talk to you guys later. Bye.